A little music to ease the tension. Dally. We both know what happened. We both know what I did. I'm all ears. Whilst it might not have been important to the court, I need you to realize that I had no intention of doing what I did. We loved each other. Love? Is that what you call it? Love can be many different things to many different people. I loved the way she smiled. You could see that her eyes were filled with the same adoration for me. You have to remember, she confessed her love first. What you did is not love. You know, I like to think that sacrifice in the name of love can only strengthen a bond. What have you sacrificed? Her happiness made me happy. And I removed our happiness to bring us closer. We were meant to be together. We both knew it. You don't even regret it, do you? You say you loved her. You made no sacrifices yourself. It's not love. It's lust. Selfish lust. Maybe it wasn't love. Who am I kidding? This isn't about love. This is about consequences. What consequences? I thought you weren't looking to dilly dally. You've been vague enough. I want the consequences of leading me on. She took me for a fool, so I took her. That's simple, huh? You have to admit, sitting here. Your ideology seems a bit hypocritical, no? Now, you might be wondering why I hired you to fight the case for me then, seeing as I'm basically avoiding my own consequences. Well, I'm sorry for you to have to find out like this, but I can't accept my consequences at this moment in time. You see, I'm well aware of how awful and traumatizing what I did must have been for that poor girl. But to be honest, I enjoyed it far more than I should have. I just don't think I'm ready to take responsibility for my actions. It's too early. If I'm to accept my fate, I shall do so on my own clock. Tick tock. Look, I completely understand that what I did was rape. I understand that I should pay for what I did. I will never forget what I took from that girl. But you can't possibly think that I'm the only one at fault here. Now that, that would be selfish. Who else could be at fault here? half assed report by the police, lack of evidence, a jury that saw I was merely a young man. I mean, could you imagine how much damage a false rape accusation could have on my career? My reputation? They may believe that rape is despicable, but they would rather give me the benefit of the doubt than have my jail cell murder on their hands. Some might even say that you're to blame. I mean, you did fight my case. You aided my release. 
the jury saw an innocent and faultless young man because that's what you wanted them to see. And worse, you did it for money. Guilty? Not even in the slightest. I think I shall continue with the charade. It will be a useful tool as I look to add a few more to the list. I mean, it would be a sin to stop at the one, right? No. You see, I can't go to jail yet because I need to bear the consequences for all of my sins. So why not enjoy the free life while I've still got it, right? I reckon I've still got a few more to get under my... What the hell you do? 